Hey guys, Vincent Wynn here for Slashgear and AndroidCommunity.com. I am here with Mateo and Nisho at Accenture. Is it just Accenture now? Accenture right? Digital. Accenture, Accenture yeah. Digital. Hey, we're going to talk about Tangle. We've got an Asus device. We've got a Lenovo device. So we're going to pit them against each other. We're, gonna, we're here with two of my favorite topics, cars and coffee. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Mateo and Michelle, and I'm going to take the camera back, and we're going to do a walk with you. Yes, I mean, we are really pleased to see you, to actually to show to you today the two, the first two uh, Tango devices. So this is the Lenovo one, which is the currently, the one that is currently available on the market now. And this is the future one, the one that is coming very, very soon. As you can see, this is still a prototype, and it's the one that has got the Tango sensors, plus is also daydreaming by Google. So it has got both technologies. We are running the same application, which is the BMW i-Series application, which we developed for BMW. And we are now showing to you how this works, essentially. So this device that I've got here is essentially one of the most powerful phones that will be available on the market with 8 gigabyte RAM. So I'm going to position, I'm going ahead and position the i3. So you can see that also on this one, of course, uh, is even smoother than uh, the Lenovo device because obviously this has got the latest Snapdragon processor and AMOLED screen. Yeah, yeah. So as you can see, I opened the car and now I'm actually moving to enter with the, thanks to the Tango technology. And I'm also able to, of course, change the interiors. Again, look at the quality of the interiors on the AMOLED screen. This is a 5.7 inch, inch screen, uh, as I said, with 8 gigabyte of RAM, and uh, mm, so it's a super uh, powerful uh, phone. So uh, there are lots of things that I can do. For example, I can uh, start the radio, and you can hear the sound. I can also start the wiper, and you can see like people outside, uh, inside the stand here at MWC 17. Just they look like they are outside of the car, like the car was actually here. As I, as I, as you know, let me switch off the radio. This is this looks like a real car. Essentially, what you see is uh, uh, the car at full size, which uh, would look exactly the same as, as, as uh, if it was here. So uh, again, let's change. Uh, as you can see, the color. We can uh, look around. This is the back seat. And uh, we can even open the boot if you want. So I can go a little bit. I'm actually going to open the boot. Uh, as you can see, I opened the boot. So I, we can also even look at uh, the back of the car with uh, all the details and interiors. So it's really, really cool. And uh, it, this will allow you to actually visualize the car before you buy. And you can actually go to the BMW dealerships. This application is available now on the Play Store. The Let's go with the i8. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, yeah go ahead with the i8. I will also try. It's part of the i series, the BMW's innovation brand. We can also visualize the i8. Much slightly larger car in our old things, but again, you still get the photorealistic experience, life size. So, exactly as we would be positioning an i8 car directly on this floor. And again, you get the option to change all the exteriors, open up the scissor doors, and again, let's walk inside the car. So, we have the option to perhaps go for the white interior. But I think what's really better is you can even go down to the grain, check out the stitching on the car. And these are options you won't get on the online configurator and things you may miss in the dealership also. But again, the full feature. Now, i8 is a lower car, obviously, so we're going physically down. But instead of the various options, turn on the radio, so you get the dashboard as well as the of an i8. You get the steering wheel right up to the higher end dashboard. And the SMT that you can get all from the device. And we'll just finish off going around the front, where we can again see all kinds of functionality. If needed, we can sorry, zoom out a little bit. We can see the, the bonnet. And if we wanted to rotate, we can let this turn on, close the doors, and finish with the vehicle. The option to change the rims, and turn on the headlights as well if we needed to. So all the functionality of the car still remains. Guys, and let's, let's have a look at yeah, I jump over to Mateo? Yeah, because I've got to the same car. No, I've got to the i 8 new device, the Asus Zen AR device. And as you can see, again, of course, the application is the same. Again, the performance is a bit better on this one because it's a smoother, the latest is not that processor. Again, as you see, the, the car is uh, very low, this one, the i8. So we need really to get uh, uh, 
much lower to see on the video. So it doesn't matter what device you're using. It's compatible. Absolutely, absolutely. This is a very much uh, the nature of the unique nature of this tango technology. And as we know, this revolution is actually happening. And because uh, this is actually happening, we also thought to go to the next step and showing to you what is going to be to do uh, e-commerce uh, uh, like uh, tomorrow, actually very, very soon. And that's what we call augmented commerce. So we created an experience with another brand, with uh, Nestlé, Dolce Gusto, which uh, now we will be showing to you, where you can actually see how you are going to buy a coffee machine or maybe a TV, a sofa, uh, from the comfort of your home, thanks to augmented reality. Please, uh, my colleague uh, Jessica is going to show it to you. Actually, let me illustrate it to you. So we have back the Lenovo Fab Pro 2, and uh, we are going to show now the Eclipse, which is one of the top of the range uh, Dolce Gusto machine, Nescafe machine. Here the concept is the same. So you can actually see the machine. You will, of course, look at this uh, full size uh, to see if it fits uh, on the countertop of your kitchen. And then you will be able to open it, for example, as it is for the real one. And uh, you will also be able to see all the different colors. So you will see, for example, if I prefer to buy the red one, the black one, or the gray. And uh, of course, I can then buy it, essentially. And uh, we can show how to essentially buy and go directly from the application. Another thing that we did was uh, creating uh, an avatar, which essentially is the real uh, testimonial for Dolce Gusto, Ola. Uh, this guy exists for real and uh, is uh, teaching us uh, now, as you can see, um, how to use the Eclipse machine. Uh, again, this is the full size, you know, the, the, the real height of the guy is very tall and he's actually showing to us how to make the coffee with the, the Dolce Gusto Eclipse. Oh, he's also speaking, now you cannot hear but uh, there is of course audio. Let me see if I can increase it a little bit. Oh, sorry. It's very realistic, so this was all modeled in 3D. And here it is, the coffee finally in our cup. And again, look for the photorealistic quality. It's really, really close to reality. And this is the magic of this, because actually you can appreciate all the details of the machine, of any object that you're looking at. So we really believe this is going the next way, the, ne the, ne the future way in which, by which you will be buying anything online trying to visualize it at, in your home before you actually you buy it uh, uh, on the web. Uh, yeah, so basically then we have also a configurator for all the different accessories. So in this case we have the capsule holders. So you can see now here, it looks really like that it was there, like the real one. So you can see all the different uh, flavors and you can learn more about the flavors. So it's really engaging for the consumers, really simple to use, anybody can do it. And this is now a pilot that we are doing with uh, our client, uh, Nestle Dolce Gusto. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. All right, guys, you saw it here first. The ASUS AR VR device demo Tango for the first time ever, right? On yeah, I mean, device. it was only I mean, shown the uh, CS, shown but really, this device but we is actually still... didn't get to play at CS. Ex so. Exactly, exactly. So this is really one of the first uh, report live. There you have it, guys. Matteo, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. You Thanks bet. a lot. Bye-bye.